What's going on, Ballhawks? So uh, I decided to come back in advance of Thursday night football and break down a play from the 49ers Bengals game from a few weeks ago, just to show how creative Kyle Shanahan is with his run designs and his play calling. But also, this is a DB channel, so to give some love to a DB. So as we can see here, they've come out in 21 personnel, right? So that's two backs, two wide receivers, one tight end, okay? But as you can see, Debo Samuel, a wide receiver, is lined up in the backfield, and this running back is lined up at receiver. Now, you're going to have to trust me. I couldn't get it uh, cut up in the way that I wanted to, but the play started with this guy as a slot receiver right here. So this is twins formation, right? So even if you flip these guys around, right, it would be twins formation. And if you watch any 49ers games, you know that the 49ers like to run the ball outside. So like toss or outside zone and stuff like that from condensed splits, right? So nasty splits, tight splits from the receivers, okay? So that would make a lot of sense because we can, we'll see from the tight that uh, the Bengals are in a tight front, right? So it's a reduced front. They've got these three down linemen up here covering these guards, right? So it's a tight front. So it makes a lot of sense to run the ball outside, right? So to run toss. So it looks like they've got an advantage, but we'll see what happens here, okay? Right, toss, then the ball comes back inside, all right? So now we're gonna see it from the tight view, okay? So again, like I told you, right? You can trust me, it was lined about here. And then they did a little motion here, okay, right? So we can see here, tight front, right? These look like four eyes to me, right? So it's a tight front. And uh, they run this toss play, but instead of running normal toss, it's counter toss, right? So you can see Uchek does a good job of faking it, right? Like they're going to just go outside zone toss here, and then he comes back, okay? But let's keep our eye on Jesse Bates, okay? He's a really, really good safety. I know he's had some struggles in some games this year. People talk trash. I think everybody of all the other 31 teams, if they got – this guy traded to their team, they'd be pretty amped up about it because he's a pretty good football player. So let's not be fans. Let's be, uh, you know, football watchers, right? People that love and respect the game. This guy's a really good football player, okay? So we've got all these down blocks here, right? It looks like it's zone blocking action, but they're really down blocks and it's counter and the ball comes back, right? So it winds back to this cutback lane, right? You check, kicks this guy out here, right? Kicks out the end or the outside linebacker. And then Bates fills it. So let's rewind and watch Bates here, right? He's got really good eyes, okay? So if we watch it slowly, right? Use check is coming this way, right? That's his key. He's trailing it, right? That's a really good job when you're an alley player is to trail it, right? To not overrun the play. And he sees him wind back. He comes back from his crossover run, gets back to balance, right? Doesn't get lost and just go, oh, it's toss. I'm gonna get to the outside. He keys that and then comes back, okay? And look at look at the blocking, right? This is phenomenal blocking from the 49ers, right? Because if Bates is not disciplined and the, the play is counting on him not being disciplined, if Bates is not disciplined, look at how massive the hole would be, right? So take Bates out of the equation. Let's say he just runs off this way and isn't paying attention to his keys. Look how massive the hole would be, right? And you got Debo Samuel, one of the most athletic, great open field players in the NFL, would be one-on-one -on -one in the open field with a safety. I think he's going to score a touchdown on this play if Bates is not disciplined. So he does a phenomenal job, open field tackle on Debo Samuel, one-on-one -on -one in the hole. He's a tough guy to tackle, too. This is just great football right here. So I wanted to break this play down. And the reason why I wanted to break it down was because, you know, Bates is a phenomenal player. This is a phenomenal play. And if you're, you know, a safety watching this video, that's how you want to play it, right? You want to be patient. You want to read your keys and you want to finish the play. You don't want to guess, right? The other reason why I wanted to break it down was even though this play was not successful, Kyle Shanahan is one of the great play designers in the NFL. This is a phenomenally designed play, 
right? And when you're watching the game tonight, we'll see what ends up happening. But I always feel like that first 15 plays that he scripts, especially the running plays, they end up being really successful, right? So you want to don't just watch the ball, see what the plays are, see what's going on, respect the design of the plays and respect the way that they're defended if they're defended well. So have fun tonight watching Thursday Night Football, and I'll be back later in the week with more videos. So as you know, ball hawks, we fly. Coach Williams, I'm out.